Leslie, this guy's here. Hi, can I help you? I'm Kelly Larson. I read online about your time capsule, and I'm here to make a suggestion. Oh, I'm sorry. We're not taking suggestions. The Twilight Books. It's a beautifully told saga of vampires, werewolves, and romance. Ah, uh, you are the person that's been emailing me about Twilight. I thought you would be younger. And a girl. Well, I'm not. I'm older and a boy. But I feel very strongly that these should be included. Can I tell you why? Sure. Kelly, have a seat. Awesome. Plead your case. Thanks. <laughs> Okay, Christmas Eve, 1973. Author Stephanie Meyer, née Morgan, was born in Hartford, Connecticut. Oh, you're going all the way back to her birth, okay. And combined, they have sold more than 100 million copies worldwide. Now, have you seen any of the Twilight movies? No, I have not. Well, let me describe them to you shot for shot. Movie number one, Twilight. We slowly pan up over a mossy log to see a deer drinking crystal clear water. Okay, Kelly. This time capsule isn't just a barrel full of stuff that people like. It's about life in Pawnee at this moment in time. And there is nothing in Twilight that is specific to Pawnee. I disagree. Okay, the, the town of Forks, Washington is exactly like Pawnee, except for the climate and the vampires. I'm sorry, I have to say no. I beg you to reconsider. And I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. And I'm gonna have to do this. He brought handcuffs with him. This whole thing was planned. I think it's kind of cool. It's not cool. It's trespassing, and that is breaking the rules. Cool people make the rules. They don't break the rules. And if those kids want you to break the rules, they're not really your friends. Oh, who are you even talking about? I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm just annoyed. But while we're on the subject, your friend Orin with the long black nails and the cloak, he concerns me. He's a genius. I'll take care of this trespasser. Give me 30 seconds. I'm just going to call security. Guys, can we push the meeting an hour? What's going on? Some guy handcuffed himself to a pipe in my office because we wouldn't put a copy of Twilight in the time capsule. Damn it, again? You look sad. You look like a weird goon who's obsessed with a kid's book. It's a girl, isn't it? I can tell. It's the look that Mike had on his face when Bella turned him down for the dance. Oh, yeah? Is it? What look did your mom have on her face when she realized her son was a complete failure? OK, I'll be quiet. But I do know something about heartbreak. And you know who else does? Kenneth Babyface Edmonds? No. A little lady named Twilight author Stephanie Meyer. Trust me. You should listen to him. Those books are good. Oh, I love any book about vampires, werewolves, monsters, zombies, sorcerers, beasties, or time-traveling romances. And if I had an hour alone with Robert Pattinson, he would forget all about Skinny Legs McGee. I'll tell you that much. Okay, buddy, time is up. Give us the keys. They're hidden somewhere very far away. Then we're gonna have to cut you loose. Why? I'm not doing anything wrong. Yes, you are. You're trespassing. Well, the fact remains, this is perfectly legal. No, it's not. You're trespassing. Look, I, I really don't want to cause any trouble, but I am not gonna leave until you put Twilight in the time capsule. This muscle-headed stormtrooper doesn't scare me. Go ahead, Artie. If he wants to stay in there, I'll let him stay in there. In two hours, he's going to be so hungry and freaked out. He's going to be begging me to... He brought a pillow. Hey, Leslie, I'm making some sleepy time tea. You want any? <sighs>